Hello and welcome to the lecture series on semiconductor physics. Today, in this video, we are going to talk about Drude model of the light semiconductor interaction. Drude model. This model is based on the classical equation of motion of an electron in an optical electric field and gives the simplest theory of optical constant that is refractive index etc in terms of complex conductivity sigma. The basic assumptions of Drude model are the Drude model considers the metal to be formed of positively charged ions from which a number of free carriers are detached. The Drude model neglects the long range interaction between the electrons and also those between electrons and ions. The electrons move in a straight line between one collision and the other. Now we wish to find expression for uh, complex conductivity and dielectric function. The free carrier electrons and holes in semiconductors contribute to electrical properties. Such free carriers contributions are very important in semiconductors and uh, metals and it can be understood in terms of a simple model of conductivity known as Drude model. This model is based on the classical equation of motion of an electron in an optical electric field. The classical equation of motion that is f is equal to ma for the drift velocity v is given by m dv by dt plus m v by tau is equal to e e naught exponential minus i omega t. Now this term provides the driving force which causes this acceleration and this term is the retardation that is damping here tau is the relaxation time and e is the sinusoidally varying electric field that provides the driving force omega is the angular frequency note that as a result of electric field from the electromagnetic wave that is light matter interaction the electron undergoes a positional displacement in a periodic manner because the electric field e is periodically varying that is it is sinusoidal dielectric function describes the permittivity of given media over time permittivity is the amount of charge needed to generate a single unit of electric flux within the medium using the above result and some other known formula the dielectric functions for the material can be derived now the electric field caused by the electromagnetic wave which is interacting with the material causes the electron to respond to it and the electron undergoes a sinusoidal motion given by v is equal to v naught exponential minus i omega t Upon differentiating v with respect to time t and substituting in equation 1, we get minus m iota omega plus m by tau v naught is equal to e e naught. Now the motion of the electron causes a current density given by j is equal to n e v naught is equal to sigma e naught here v naught is the drift velocity and sigma is the electrical conductivity caused by the motion so using equation 4 and equation 3 we have v naught is equal to sigma e naught upon n e which becomes equal to e e naught upon minus m iota omega plus m by tau which upon simplification gives sigma is equal to n e square tau upon m 1 minus iota omega tau this is the drewed expression for the free carrier conductivity the equation gives complex conductivity now we shall write expression for complex dielectric constant in narrow band semiconductors the total complex dielectric function can be written as epsilon which is a function of omega is equal to epsilon core that is the dielectric constant of the um, core plus 4 pi i sigma upon omega 
सो दैट सिग्मा कैन बी रिटर्न एज सिग्मा ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू एन ई स्क्वायर टाउ अपॉन एम इफेक्टिव मास इन टू वन अपॉन वन माइनस आयोटा ओमेगा टाउ हियर फोर पाई सिग्मा अपॉन ओमेगा डी नोट्स द इमेजनरी पार्ट ऑफ द फ्री कैरियर कंट्रीब्यूशन इफ देयर आर नो फ्री कैरियर एब्जो ऑप्शन सिगमा विल बी जीरो एंड एप्सल एन विल बी इक्वल टू एप्सल एन कोर एंड इन एम टी स्पेस एप्सल एन विल बी इक्वल टू एप्सल एन कोर इज इक्वल टू वन नाउ द डायलैक्टिक फंक्शन एप्सल कैन बी रिटर्न एज द सम ऑफ टू पार्ट्स रियल एंड इमेजनरी दैट इज एप्सल इज इक्वल टू एप्सल एन कोर प्लस फोर पाई आयोटा अपॉन ओमेगा एन स्क्वायर टाउ अपॉन एम वन माइनस आयोटा ओमेगा टाउ दैट इज इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज एप्सल इज इक्वल टू एप्सल प्लस आयोटा ओमेगा टू सॉरी एप्सल टू दैट इज बिकॉज रिफ्लेक्टिव इंडेक्स इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ डायलेक्टिक कॉन्सटेंट सो एप्सल इज इक्वल टू एन वन प्लस आई के टू होल स्क्वायर सो लेट इस नाउ कंसिडर टू लिमिटिंग केसेस वन फॉर द लो फ्रिक्वेंसी रेंज एंड अदर फॉर द हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी रेंज लेट एस फर्स्ट डिस्कस लो फ्रिक्वेंसी दैट इज वेन ओमेगा टी इज वेरी वेरी लेस देन वन इन दिस केस दिस टर्म दैट इज ओमेगा टी कैन बी नेग्लेक्टेड इन कंपेरिजन टू वन सो वी हैव एप्साल is equivalent to epsilon core plus 4 pi i n e square tau upon m omega since the free carrier term in above equation so the 1 by omega dependence as omega tends to 0 this term dominates in the low frequency limit for very high frequencies that is omega tau greater than 1 equation 8 becomes epsilon is equal to epsilon core minus 4 pi n e square upon m omega square as the frequency becomes large one upon omega square dependence of the free carrier contribution guarantees that the free carrier effects will become less important and other processes will dominate thus in the limit of very high frequencies the derived contribution is unimportant and uh, the behavior of all material is like that of a dielectric thus at low frequencies the optical properties of semiconductor exhibits a metal like behavior while at very high frequencies their optical properties are like those of insulators a characteristic frequency at which the material changes from a metallic to a dielectric response is called the plasma frequency and it is uh, denoted by omega p it is defined as the frequency at which the real part of the dielectric function vanishes that is epsilon 1 omega p becomes equal to 0 so omega p cap square is equal to omega p square minus 1 upon tau square let us now summarize the points of the trude model dielectric function describes the permittivity of given media over time permittivity is the amount of charge needed to generate a single unit of electric flux within the medium using the above results and some other known formulas the dielectric function for a material can be derived for omega less than omega p the value of epsilon is real and negative making the square root of uh, epsilon purely imaginary as such the light does not uh, transmit into the metal in this case since energy is conserved so the light is reflected instead for omega greater than omega p the value of epsilon is real and positive as such the light does propagate into the metal in this case metals reflect low frequency light and are transparent to high frequency light the transition occurs at plasma frequency omega p let us now list some of the success made by the theory the drude model provides a very good explanation of dc and ac conductivity of metals it explains successfully hall effect it explains weidmann friends law that is the thermal conductivity explains transport properties of electrons in metals that's all in this video for more such videos please subscribe to our channel also please don't forget to like and share the videos good luck and thank you very much